Today we are reviewing the Golgari Deadly Discovery Challenger deck. What is going on friends? My name is Ike and uh, today we're going to review a a lovely deck that's about to come out April 12th. Now, if you're watching this video and it's after April 12th, you know, 2019, I'm sorry. You are a little late to the party, but hey, it's okay. Uh, this is truly for the review and uh, launch of these Challenger decks coming in just a few weeks from now. Um, I wanted to make a video on each one of the four. Uh, there's a Golgari and is it a mono red and a mono white deck? They all seem pretty decent, and I actually want to start, start with this Golgari deck. One, because Golgari is my favorite, and two, I actually think it's the least powerful, just out of looking at it. Now, I don't know. We're going to play them all, we're going to review them, and we're going to see how this goes, but I'm going to start with this one, and we'll go from there. Let's see what's actually inside this before we get started. Uh, let's also bring this down like this. Okay. So we have good old Lena War Elves, and we all know what these are for. These are for ramp. We want to ramp with these. Uh, and then we have the good old Explorer package that also includes Seeker's Squire. Now, the Explorer package specifically is the Branch Walker, the Wild Growth Walker, and the Jade Light Ranger. Now, we only are running two Jade Light Rangers in this Challenger deck. Uh, that is unfortunate but when you're trying to lower the cost of these and that's probably what wizards of the coast is trying to do having two extra jade light rangers is going to be costly to their economy uh, purely because it's a uh, it's rare i i think it's unfortunate and you know it's it stinks but that's what you're dealing with when you when you have these pre-created decks we have a couple of cards that also are there for removal. Uh, we're running uh, Chupacabra, of course, and Plague Crafter. Just one Plague Crafter and three Chupacabras. We also are running four Cast Downs uh, for creature removal. Now, we are running also a dist uh, District Guide, which is going to help us bring in a gate. And when we look at our land in a second, you'll see that we are running gates. Uh, we have a fine broker that's going to allow us to bring creatures back from our graveyard back into our hand that allows them to play them uh, and we do have some pretty good enter the battlefield do some cool stuff creatures like chupacabra playcrafter and all of our um, our explore package from there we have eldest reborns and these are really just there to destroy discard bring creatures back same thing with find. You can it's a good board clear if you need it. Also, it's great for bringing creature cards back to your hand. And then finally, a Veraska's Relic Seeker because you know, let's put a Planeswalker in the deck. On the sideboard, we have duresses for your those control matchups. We have a Bloodfest for I have no idea why. We also have a the Harpooners, of course, for our mono blue friends. Golden Demise for more creature removal. Uh, we have two murders for large minions that are legendary, I guess, and a Reclamation Sage for all of those pesky enchantments that we need to get rid of. Looking at you, Wild Growth, or excuse me, uh, Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, and that's roughly the deck. It's a mid-range deck that tries to bring some stuff in and tries to overwhelm your, comp your opponent with creatures that you can then bring back in and get more value from. Let's see how it plays, shall we? Gonna play first here. Um, this is an okay starting hand. I'll keep it. I do have some explore stuff and I have some board removal. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play that guild gate. Uh, I didn't go over the lands, but really the lands are we have a couple of guild gates. We got we got a couple of other things that might be useful. Um, I think we only have, we have one, um, ping to face land, two untapped lands. I think that that's about all we're working with here. Though. Okay. Thought erasure. Probably will get rid of the branch walker purely so I can't uh, bring that wall 
growth walker up a bit. It's also, the branch walker is very good for either card drawing another land or just getting through the deck and cycling. That's a good choice. Uh, lucky for us, being good at magic only requires a good top deck. I'll just go ahead and play this and attack for two. Well, that's good. Um, another great draw. Better than being good than lucky, or vice versa. Alright, we are putting a little bit of pressure on this Esper Control deck. And a Kyo's Wrath removes all of that. Good thing for you, Fine Broker. We're just getting great top decks here. Um, do I want to bring in the Wild Growth Walker? No, I think I actually want a Branch Walker. And I think the reason I want a Branch Walker is to cycle through the deck more. The opponent can see our entire hand, which is kind of interesting. Uh, they're probably not going to play this Plague Crafter. Uh, excuse me, they're probably not going to play a Teferi, because I do have a Plague Crafter that's literally made... And it's only sole pur purpose is it's going to be c to kill to fairies. Okay. I'll go ahead and move into the attack phase. They might have a mortify here. Or a cast down. They do not. Okay. Um, I don't want to bring anything else to the board. I want to make them force a removal. I have them on a two turn spread here and adding another creature isn't going to add to that two turn spread. Okay. I'll go ahead and attack first. See what they do. They let it hit. Okay. Um, I will play the uh, elf. Because one, it doesn't give me any value. And maybe it sticks around if they don't have a full board. So Kyra's Wrath was expected. Uh, I think I'm just going to play one Chupacabra. It's kind of unfortunate that I basically have nothing but... Um, nothing but, you know... Okay, cast down is fine. Nothing but card uh, creature removal. So we'll definitely be getting some sideboarding happening soon. Okay, probably gonna get rid of the Playcrafter because he has a Teferi. No, okay. Do you have a creature that's about to come down for getting rid of the Chupacabra? Huh? That's interesting. Alright, let's find and see if this uh goes through. I'm actually going to uh, do a little bit of... I'm gonna go for the walker uh, because I think I'm able to get a Okay, I assume this would have been Removed that's fine. We're just gonna hold on to the play crafter until they play it to fairy But as of right now, we are kind of lost all of our muster Okay, I can at least play and destroy that Kaya's wrath, but I lose the play crafter as well. Okay, those are gone. And depending on this draw here, we are probably going to go to the next phase. Let's, uh, let's play this again. See if it resolves. 
uh, this to cycle. If this does not resolve, I think we are going to... Yes, let's go ahead and go to sideboard. Okay, definitely going to bring in Durest against this. Um... Gonna bring in a Reclamation Sage. No, I don't think there's anything that I need. Maybe a search for Ascanta. But is it that valuable? I don't know. This Eldest Reborns will do fine. Um, Play Crafter, I actually want to keep in to remove Planeswalkers. But I kind of want a, a quick... I don't necessarily have in this deck a quick way of dealing damage. And which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I think I get rid of the Chupacabras. I don't think they're necessary here. Uh, and probably get rid of the Cast Downs. But what do I bring in instead of the Cast Downs? I guess I just bring in the Harpooners for an early 2-drop. 3-2. That seems right. And let's bring in that Reclamation Sage just in case we need to. Not a lot of options that I have here, which is okay, because again, this is a deck that we are reviewing. So that is option number one that we... The sideboard seems a little off against control. I, I guess it's fine. Our deck's not supposed to do anything crazy anyway. That's a bummer. That's also a bummer. I'm going to keep it, though, because if I can... Okay. I'm going to keep this because I at least have one mana. I just wanted to play. I just wanted to make sure. All right. So we will at least have this. And next turn, Mulgrove Walker. Turn after that. We'll see how this goes. Please do not Thought Erasure me. Actually, I guess it doesn't actually matter if you Thought Erasure me. I'm not. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, what does he do? Get rid of the walker? One of the walkers? The land, if I... The land count, I believe, is like 22, 23? I have to triple check. Yeah, that's a good draw. Go ahead and attack. If I can draw a land this turn and not get thought erasured, actually no, let's let's do this. I'm actually going to pass on that to keep hitting my lands. I think that's more important currently. And it doesn't seem like he has any removal, so I think we're okay. And honestly, he's probably just gonna Kaya's Rathus anyway, so why do I need I think I'm only going to do this to cycle, and I'm only going to do it once, because I'm probably going to lose everything. And we don't want to commit to the board and lose simply to Akaya's Wrath. And currently, this board is extremely threatening. Akaya's Wrath? Or are you going to be greedy? Okay. We're just going to end our turn. We have no reason to play anything. We have lethal on board, and they have to remove our creatures or we win. So I am not worried about it. There's the Tyrus Wrath that he wanted to be greedy with. He assumed that I would be playing the, the Ranger. Does this matter? It probably has a Vraska's Contempt. I don't think this matters. I'll take the... No, let's just throw that away too. Let's just make this a 4-3 and be very threatening. That's a bummer. And he's going to play it as well, so there's not much we can do about it. No? What if I had a removal spell?
Okay. Bummer. It's okay, we have one more shot. That's an absorb. Keep that there, though. You don't. You just could put that in the uh, put that in the graveyard. You don't. You don't need that, do you? There's the fairy. Okay. I know my responsibility. We're pretty, uh, pretty poor shape here. Pretty poor shape. All right. Well, what can we get? When did I want to keep this? Did I make a mistake? I don't think I did. Could have. I think there's anything that we can get that we win with. Yeah, I think we are dead. Well, that was a poor first showing. We'll, we'll get into another one. All right, let's play first. He's not horrible. We're going to play a Memorial Folly first. Get that out of the way. All right, is it? Got a good gate. We will play the guild gate. Next turn, and drop down this branch walker unless a jade light ranger comes up. Let's play the branch walker first. Um, okay. I was wondering if we were going to get trickstered there. It's not. We're going to get spell pierced. No, just another op. Two op. Is this, uh, is it Phoenix? Seems like it could be. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. And we'll attack for two. What, who does this? What is this monstrosity? Putting two different art styles in your deck? Ah, oh, the nerve. Enigma Drake, eh? Uh, we have ways to deal with that. So this is good. Um, do we need the second one? I actually don't think we do. I don't think we do. Because I think, see, it was too much. That start was too, too fire. So bringing in the heart. Okay, no. Really? What? You didn't want to deal with it? I guess uh, it wasn't really ready for this jelly. Oh, that is not good, but by golly, do I want to keep it? Nope, never mind. I can't keep it. That's... What is this? Okay. We have hope. We have hope. Mm, no, I don't want to keep that on top. Oh, hello. Let's uh, let's see who can uh, land a war elf uh, the best. Oh, what? Hello. This is no. What is this? This is interesting. Um, guess I'll, I'll guess I'll play the walker. I, I have plenty of mana. I don't even know what I'd be able to play for five mana this turn anyway. I mean, oh, Eldest Reborn, maybe. Bye, walker. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Well, this is uh, somewhat depressing. I guess I could have attacked 
Oh, I don't know. No blocks from me, sir. Lieutenant. No bueno. That's a great start. Well, we know what they're playing. That's for sure. They don't know what we're playing, but they probably know. Golgari midrange. All right. Um, I'm going to bring in a Harpooner and Reclamation Sage. Um, Eldest Reborns are not needed. They are too big, and they're probably going to have a lot of little creatures. So no need for that. Um, I think Seek Relic Seeker is fine. Get rid of the Plague Crafter. I think we have enough removal for the time being. Um, do I want to do this to draw a card? Do I want to? I don't want to be sac. Like I don't know why this is in the day. Like I, I understand in some ways if this to me is a let's win a lot card, not a hey I'm trying to win and I'm in a bubble or I'm in a I'm struggling here. Help me. I don't think that's what it is. I'm actually going to bring in some Golden Demise. I'm a, I want to bring in two. I, I don't want to rest this. Let's go with this. I think this is good. I'm going I'm to try this. This seems, this seems possible that it's a... Uh, we'll see. I have no idea. So this is a better start, and that's for darn sure. No Lana War Elf though. Hmm. Womp womp. Mm hmm. They did not have a Lana War Elf either. Very good. Ooh, part of me really wants to like Oh, never mind, I can't do it anymore. Oh, I really don't want them to have that. I will attack, will you accept? You have accepted. Next turn I am able to chupacabra if I ping myself to the face. Hmm. I'm gonna let the three hit. Oh, I really wanted them to trade. Go ahead and Chupacabra. Now the question is Elvish Clan Caller. And let's get rid of this. He hasn't, um, If he adapt it next turn anyway, he would be able to. Oh, never mind. You can't. He couldn't even adapt. It. Okay, no, he could have. A what? What are you? Why is everybody quitting? I I think we're just gonna go with it, right? I think we just go with it. Maybe he had a bad starting hand and he didn't want to deal with it. Happened to the best of us. It's okay. We have a uh, we have some uh, exploring, so I think I'm okay with it purely on that level. All right, so they caught the land war elf, but he had to dig pretty deep to find it. Okay. Wow. Well, next turn I'll have um, two branch walkers. That's nice. Unless he freaking binds me now. That's not going to happen. I know your tricks, you sir. Hi. 
Now, let's make my guy grow. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is purely to make sure I can change binding. If I get bind, I don't have to deal with it. Do I want... Let's get rid of it. And I will attack. Now, I'll have two um, ways to... <clears throat> Even if he binds, I still have... I could double block here. But I really don't want to. I think if I don't double block, I actually am in a better spot than he is after this next turn. Got your other one. Go ahead and play it. Go ahead and play this one first. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Land. Because I needed it. I really did. I think that's a good body, but do I want it? I think I do. I think they have to trade here. Okay. What you got? You didn't block with nothing. Okay. That's fine, but... I win. What do you... I'm not sure on this one. I'm going to double block here. So even if he does... Okay, if you do... I kill it. Two for one, yes, but I'm okay with that. theory I've won the game because they only have one blocker and I have a lot of attackers um, I should have eight damage GG okay good old mid-range not too bad not too bad all right, we got some games in. We um, we played around with it a little bit. I've also played a lot of it off stream just to kind of get a good feel of the deck. I think I've played enough, and hopefully you've seen enough to kind of know what this deck is all about, what its shortcomings are, uh, maybe what it's strong against. So let's kind of talk about and review this sucker, shall we? It's a good, gold gory mid-range deck. Bottom line, that's what it is. I... It, it, if I, uh, you know, was going to buy a brand new paper card deck from the get-go and wanted to play a mid-range deck that was somewhat fun and pretty entertaining, this is the one I'd buy. So if you like mid-range, if you like Gagori in general, this is an adequate, in my opinion, deck that's going to be a lot of fun, that's going to be somewhat competitive, and, you know, something that I myself will be purchasing and playing at Friday Night Magic. Now let's talk a little bit about some cons that I do see in it. Um, I don't think it's sideboard is the most efficient, you could say. There are some questionable cards, even in the deck, uh, as well as the sideboard, that I would get rid of. Uh, but I did want to bring up a section of cards in which I thought would make this even better. So let's get to that. The first change that I would make is pretty simple. We talked about it earlier, but we currently only have two Jade Light Rangers, so we need four of them. Card's too good. Uh, maybe you can have a discussion about having three of them, but I'm going to bring in four. Uh, this strict guide I don't think is necessary with all this explore. I also don't think that if you want to run Seeker Squire, you can either run all four or run four. I, on the other hand, am only going to run two. We don't need that many cast downs. Instead, we're going to bring those cast downs, replace murder, and bring in those cast downs here. 
Uh, murder is great for killing creatures that are legendary, but that is why we have play crafters and chupacabras. Speaking of chupacabras and play crafter, I think we're okay currently with our one and three. I would prefer to have maybe more than these, but we'll, uh, they're fine for right now. Instead of the fine broker, in my personal opinion, I'm going to get rid of that, and we're going to go midnight. And the reason is card draw. And I do like the fact that uh, the midnight, excuse me, the uh, fine broker does bring cards back into play. I don't want to lose that, but I do want to make sure this deck is somewhat competitive. Uh, I am going to get rid of the Vraska's Relic Seeker. I'm going to get rid of the Eldest Reborn. Uh, I'm going to add one Play Crafter. I'm going to get rid of one Chupacabra. And now I'm going to bring in Carnage Tyrant into the main deck. And again, this deck has now instantly got more expensive because we're bringing in a bunch of new cards that cost a little bit more, but it's all worth it. And again, again, I'm trying to add more to this deck and what I would do initially, stuff like that. Uh, if you don't have those cards, not a big deal. Continue working your way and uh, little by little you can add more and more value to this deck. When it comes to the lands, of course, we do not want guild gates. We would want four of the overgrowth tombs and four of the woodland cemeteries. Uh, that would bring us to a total of 22. That seems fine for right now. I think before we were running, that seems about right. I think we're running this many here. Uh, sideboard wise, I would get rid of the blood fast. Um, the harpooner is great. I would actually add four of those to be completely 100% honest. The golden demise is questionable. That is up to you to see if you want to run it or not. You can also run the carnage tyrants in the sideboard if you don't want to run them in the main deck and, uh, and also in the sideboard or in the main deck run one of the Varaska's uh, planeswalkers. You can run either the Golgari queen or the relic seeker. They're both really good in Golgari in general. Now, for the review itself, I'm just going to give you a good old-fashioned out of five stars. And if I were to rate this, I would rate this deck a three and a half out of five. Um, it's fun. It's somewhat competitive. There's a lot of uh, great foundation laid here for all of you mid-range lovers. And so I think this is a great starting deck for any of you who are wanting something fun mid-range has a little bit of, you know, essence and flavor, uh, but also not completely trash. And this is what this is. It's a great deck. Highly recommend it. Um, three and a half stars.